<laughs> First of all, I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone here today to celebrate the union of Kirby Lam and Nancy Jeng. And on their behalf, I would like to thank you all for making it here from all over the world, battling airports, COVID tests and quarantines to get here. Hello everybody, welcome for the big day for Nancy and the Kirby's the wedding. So I'm very happy for you coming this big day. First of all, I will thank you for my sweetheart, my daughter. Oh, for 28 years since she coming to my family, bring us so many happiness. So we are very, very appreciate for Nancy. So we are so excited. She's intelligent, smart. So, and secondly, I will thank you, Kirby's parents. Thank you for that family. They had the intelligent boy and handsome. <laughs> Generous. Oh. There are so many stories in this couple's relationship that I would love to tell today. And one of my favorites is about a stolen pot plant. Nancy and I attended a formal dinner during our second year of university, where in her slightly tipsy state, Nancy had her eyes on something throughout the night. For those of you wondering, it was not Kirby, but a potted palm tree. Throughout the evening, she made her way closer and closer to this. She was convinced that she could walk past the porters, who were a bit like college security guards, with the plant under her belly pretending that she was pregnant. We stared at her in disbelief, but we watched her walking straight past the porters' lodge with this plant under her gown against her stomach all the while leaving a trail of compost and stones behind her. Now, you might wonder where this plant ended up, and that's where Kirby comes into the story. Kirby's birthday was coming up, and this tree, this plant, needed a new hiding place in case the college managed to track Nancy down and demand it back to its original home. To this day, poor Kirby probably never questioned how this birthday present was acquired, and if he did, it was definitely true love to house a plant from a questionable source. Can we please give a big hand to the bride and groom for the cutting off the cake, ladies and gents? Five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gents, the bride and groom! So, uh, for those who don't uh, really know me, my name is Richard, and uh, I'm I'm so honoured to be uh, standing here by my uh, by my best friends uh, to celebrate the best day uh, of their lives. So, uh, our friendship really developed um, when we went to Harrow School together back in 2009 uh, for two years uh, to study our A levels. Um, although we weren't in the same boarding house, um, we spent most of our time together in lessons, outside lessons, doing sports, music, volleyball, and uh, among many other things as well. And uh, throughout these years, Kirby really became the brother that I'd never had. On behalf of Nazin, I just want to thank again for everyone who made their way here, and particularly people who flew, because yeah, I've done enough COVID tests to know it's not exactly a pleasant experience, so we, we really appreciate that. Just make sure you eat and drink enough to, to make it work. Um, and just want to highlight every one of you sitting here is part of why we end up here. In the, our secondary and high school friends were those who made us study and work hard and actually help us settle in the UK when we first came from abroad, um, trying out new things and settling into new culture. Um, our friends in Cambridge 
has been exactly why we met, uh, mostly dri driven by drinking events, but still, um, they were the reasons why. And uh, I would say the fact that we met first both two have completely smashed, and um, the only thing we remember is each other's faces, but nothing else. That, that's true love in first sight. <laughs> Um, so, fast forward to our years in, in, in Cambridge as undergrad. Um, I first heard about um, Nancy in 2013 or late 2012-ish, just after the Mabel, um, when I noticed something changed uh, about Kirby. The hardworking, the diligent um, Kirby slowly disappeared and disappeared into nothing. Um, it's more and more asking people for homework to, you know, to, to, to copy and you know, etc. Um, instead, he started spending a little bit more and more, gradually more and more time outside, away from the boys. Uh, but strangely, every time he came back from some event, um, he was very happy and very contented. Um, um, at the moment I, um, I met, with, uh, I met uh, Nancy, I realised, oh my goodness, Nancy is really very, very intelligent caring with a great sense of humour and I'm so glad that your relationship managed to grow uh, throughout the past eight, nine years through so, you know, such a difficult time um, even when Kobe was working thousands and thousands of miles away. Um, so yeah that is real, a, a real a genuine testament to your commitment uh, and also true love for each other. I will help this new couple, when you're married, you will deal with the family and the job. So look after each other, support each other. Life is a, a, chop, a pair of chopsticks. You need cooperation, working together, we can get more so success. If just one chopstick, so it's difficult. So I hope both of you in the future support each other, cooperation together, and support each other. Kirby knows Nancy better than anyone else. For them, there's no need for fancy gifts. For them, being together is the greatest present. So without further ado, the vows. Dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here uh, to join Kirby Lam and Nancy Tung in the union of marriage. The bride and groom have each prepared vows that they will read now. Nancy. To find a girl like you, as special as you, of all people in the world, is one that I've never, ever imagined. Since the first night we met in the Cambridge Mabel, you've already completely stolen my heart. You have gone through many ups and downs, including times that we are very far away from each other. But we have treasured every second we are with each other, and the emotional attachment was so strong that there hasn't been one moment where I could imagine not choosing you to spend my life with. And after nine years, here we are today. You're my best friend, partner in crime, and my one true love. And marrying you today makes me the luckiest and happiest man. I promise to be your faithful husband and vow to love you unconditionally when life seems easy or when it seems hard and support you for as long as you shall live. I promise not to complain when our house is overcrowded with pets or looks like a fruit tree jungle. Um, and I'll also promise to follow Dr. Aiyo advice in healthy lifestyle. And despite I'm generally quite absent-minded, I promise to constantly remind myself the same three words. You're right. <laughs> I can't wait to open the next live chapter with you to laugh, to cry, and to grow old together wherever our journey leads us. I love you. Um, nine years ago, I met you for the first time. This was at your college ball. You were wearing a red ball tie, and I thought to myself, whoa, he's cute. <laughs> we watched fireworks on the roof and then lost each other in the crowd. 
Luckily, a few months later, destiny, or scientifically known as ethanol, brought us back together again. <laughs> It has been an eventful decade for us to say the least. We have learned and grew both together as a couple and when we're apart. The most important lesson I have learned is that this is a three-way marriage with me, you and TMD Investment. <laughs> this dawned on me when you proposed with a slideshow presentation. <laughs> On a serious note, I deeply admire how composed, driven, and smart you are. After three years of long distance, three years of engagement, and a global pandemic, finally, we have made it to this day. In medical terms, I still have a high early warning score for you. With high breathing rate, heart rate, and dilated pupils. <laughs> In investment terms, I've done some modeling. Numbers show that this is a relation this relationship is an appreciating asset, has got a high rate of return for a holding period of 70 years. <laughs> <laughs> is the deal of a lifetime. I love you and I cannot wait for the journey ahead. For these 28 years, I can remember so many stories. Nancy with me, so I support her with her grow up. Together we go to have a travel. We do a lot of the sports like swimming, ice skating, a lot of those sports. So she with me. From today, I will hand over to Kirby. <laughs> Kirby is the right. So, and lastly, to my wife Nancy, who looks absolutely beautiful today. I say that a lot, but today you truly look very beautiful. <laughs> You're the most loving, caring, wise, and independent woman I've met. Um, I will admit that's on the qualities when I set eye on you when I first met you, drunk. <laughs> but these qualities of yours and who you are as a person are why I want you to for life. There are, and there were obviously ups and downs and very rare arguments between ourselves, but we know deep down that we actually want to make this work and all we really need is each other. So, and I don't think we'll argue from now anymore because you're always right. <laughs> and so before I, I'm, before it's too late, I'm just gonna request these two things. A, half of the bed is mine. <laughs> Not the pets. Second, the front yard of the house is for parking and not planting. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please join me to raise a glass to my love of my wife, Nancy. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, Kirby, you are such a lucky man. Uh, to have found Nancy, because to be honest, I think she's a little bit out of your league. <laughs> uh, right, uh, Nancy, you are incredibly intelligent, super bright, uh, driven, and you're very funny. Uh, you're absolutely beautiful, and you've got a big heart. Working as a doctor, my respect for you. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really unhappy. I can't, cannot be happier that you're marrying my best friend. Uh, please, please, please look after him. Um, look after him for me and look after him for us all. Um, right, so I think that's almost enough for me. I love you both very much and I hope you uh, ever uh, happily ever after. Um, right, I think it's time for us all to 
raise our glass to the new couple, Nancy and Kirby. I help the couple, the new couple, they have a good life. The ocean is open. You can swim as deep as you are. The sky, you can fly as high as you can. The world is yours. Thank you. Next.